welcome back to What Are Tea Nibs with General Disturbance. This is the FP304, it's the tier 6 British SPG. It's located on the south spawn of Pilsen, and this one is under the command of a fingernail clipping. And some of his battles have been so exciting, some have suggested it should be a fingernail biting. Game on! Yes, very exciting battles from fingernail clipping. The first one he actually sent in, he absolutely, it was a, um, a really interesting battle right up until the moment that the enemy arty managed to get a shotgun on him at the last moment. But he turned the tables on the enemy arty in the last battle we saw, where he actually managed to shotgun the enemy perfectly and got the win for his team. Three marks of excellence on the barrel of the howitzer. Okay, well, we're looking at the rear edge of the factories at the moment and the T3485M just ran up against those pipes. He's lining up the shot, rounds out, right over the factory and straight onto the T3485M. Yes, he definitely took a hit there. Now, these howitzer shells, the 4.5 inch howitzer, are capable of doing 450 alpha, 28 millimeter pen, 2.2 meters on the burst radius. They're not strong enough to actually stun, but they can certainly put a lot of damage into the enemy. It's the same howitzer you find as the top gun on the Bishop and the stock gun on the Crusader 5.5. I think that 45 TP hasn't seen what's behind him. There's a KB-3 in the factory shooting at his rear, and there's also an RT up in the corner shooting in his direction as well. Rounds out. Oh, it was a hit on the heavy tank. You can see where it landed, right on the rear end, but on the side. And unfortunately, the 45 TP did go down to the KB-3. You can see a fingernail clipping is quickly looking at his options, what targets are available. He's landed in a tier seven game with tier five tanks in it. So he's middle tier on this one. And there's a KB-3, he just got tracked that one. Rounds out. Yep. That damaged the tracks of the KB-3. It's difficult trying to get a shell to thread through the wrecks of these factories. Holes in the buildings. Yeah, you got one there. And it looks like the KB-3 just got derped by a KB-2. And uh, he's got a huge hole in the front. And there's the kill shot. And that's his first kill of the game. Okay, we're going back to have a quick look at that heavy tank number six. He is very low on hit points. It wouldn't take much to take him out of the game. Trying to thread the shell through the gaps. He hit the wall. You know, those steel plates get in the way. Sometimes the red, you get a red line. Some you get a green line. Sometimes the shell will just go through those gaps just slightly and he's gonna give it another go i think oh he got him that's his second kill and he's just spotted a t-150 coming around the other side uh don't think the kb2 knows about him but well he does now he managed to damage the tracks guys backing away he obviously realizes he's facing two enemy tanks the t-150 and there's a nice little hit there of course, he can't see us because we're over a bank, well away from him at the moment. Almost at maximum range, not quite. That T3485M has gone into the factory. We can see that. Oh, there's a only three behind them as well now. Okay, rounds out. Can he hit that guy? Narrowly misses him. Still trying to hit the only three. The thing is that they, they're not very solid... Um, when it comes to protection because the, the crew can be injured because it's open at one end. Okay, he thinks he's still there. He's keeping the aim. Oh, he did. He was still there. He just got a blind hit on that Honey. Okay, he's trying to get the shot on the T-150. Yes, he lands another one. And the KV-2 are just trying to derp. So he's going to come forward, and then he drives straight into another shell. 
and the Honey has come over to the other side to try and get a shot at the KV-2R. And he's out the game altogether. That's the third kill for a fingernail clipping. KV-2 squeezes through the gap. And another hit on the T-150. Unfortunately, things are not going well elsewhere on the battlefield because a Yak Panther and a Type 64 have actually now got very close to our cap area. We do have a Super Chappy near us, as well as the M41 HMC he was near the cap. He was our um, other RT. And now you can see a fingernail clipping is trying to reposition himself so he can actually get shots on the enemy. The T-150 was taken down, so he knows he's safe over here, but that Jagdpanther is still coming on. The RT just fired at him. He fires around in, and yes, he does get a hit. 149, but the M41 gets taken out, and the Jagdpanther gets the kill. Now, can he get another shot? Well, he fires it in, but unfortunately, the Jagdpanther is now on the move. So there's four left on either side. The super chap, he appears to, well, he was just a short distance behind us. Now he's out the game altogether. He just got killed by the Type 64. And we just got seen uh, as we were pulling around the corner. So they're obviously close enough to actually spot us. Now there's four on the enemy team. They've got two RTs, an AMX 13 F3 AM and the 105 FH 18 B2. And our KV-2 is now being caught between a rock and a hard place. He's not only got Artie coming in on him, uh, he's also got the uh, the type going around shooting him and the Jagdpanther claims the kill. So now it's two versus four. Oh, lovely shot on the move. He gets a shot on the Jagdpanther. But he is having to reposition again. One of them went down. That was the Jagdpanther. Now the Types tried to harass the KV-2. He's just seen us as well. But he's not coming after us yet. But he does kill the KV-2R. And that means now that we're the only one left on our team. Can he get a shot in the Type? Oh, yes! Short range shotgun. And the arty from the enemy team fires the round in just a fraction of a second too late. You can see why he has three marks of excellence on the barrel of his howitzer. Yes, he's very good at this, but we've just spotted the AMX 13 F3 and he's actually coming in to try and get a shotgun at us. He's going to appear at that corner in a short while. So he's trying to aim. RT tried to shoot him. He wasn't able to stay still long enough to actually get a shot. Narrowly avoided getting hit by the enemy RT, the Fifi, the 105 left H, 18B2. We'll get another shotgun attempt. And yes, it wasn't, he wasn't able to get it in time. And now he's got to try and reload. Standard reload is 12.94 seconds. He's got 10.12. But in order to, to get that reload in, he's got to try and get away from the enemy AMX. And it's ring around the roses. I don't know if you're aware of that uh, song. It's a nursery rhyme, but yep, he's being chased around the building. It's a chase of kissy, kissy, bangy, bangy. Oh, he tries again. Unfortunately, he misses. And oh, the AMX gets a big hit for 255 hit points. It doesn't kill him, uh, but he managed to get one back. But now they're both in reload. And again, he's got to try and reload and get round to face him in time. He gets another hit for 116. Can he get another time around? The guy's going against the wall to try and turn on us. He fluff that bit up. Now we're chasing him. Oh, that missed as well. Oh, this is one shotgun after another. Oh, the AMX is getting ready for the shotgun. He's baiting him there. I uh, tried to turn around and I think we're going into chasey, chasey, kissy, kissy again. Yep, he backed up there to try and get the, the corner. Oh, he's unfortunately he's missed again. But the air mix is now loaded. But he gets past him. Now he needs to keep going past him. Otherwise, and he's missed again. 
he needs to avoid the guy backing up against the wall. Otherwise, he's going to get an easy shot with a loaded gun. And again, he tries. Oh, no. Unfortunately, the AMX got in front of him. Well, that was a valiant try to keep the uh, AMX 13 F3 AM from getting in front of him. But unfortunately, he was able to do that in the end. And he was able to fire that 155 millimeter howitzer right into the face of a fingernail clipping and finally take his last few hit points. I don't know if you could hear the capping in the background. The enemy Fifi, the 105 Lef H 18B2, was actually in their cap area. He decided not to take part in the contest between the two and was actually sitting in their cap uh, at that moment, capping uh, and ignoring what was going on, probably using the minimap to see what was going on. But of course, um, he wasn't going to take a shot whilst his teammate was so close and he was moving in and out. It was very difficult for the en any enemy RT to actually get involved in that fight because it was so one-on-one -on -one, uh, and it was a nail biter in a, in a big way. Let's have a look at the scores. Well, first class tanker, nearly an ace tanker out of that one. He also managed to get a fighter badge for getting at least four kills. In fact, he ended up with five, one short of getting a top gun and one third of the enemy team. He also got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he got 20. And his win eight on that one was 8,732, which is super unicum and quite a bit more. In fact, we can see that some of the enemy that he was firing at, uh, the, the AMX 13 F3, he got four critical hits on that guy during the game. So he knocked out the gunner, the gun, twice, the track. The T-150, he knocked out the track, the gun, the track, the driver, the loader. He was knocking out multiple um, critical hits, multiple modules on the enemy, killing their crew. And he was just trying as hard as he could to win the battle for his teammates. But sadly, they all died out, leaving him to try and win against two RT who were extremely good. Uh, in fact, the AMX 13 F3 tried very, very hard to win that one, and he did succeed in the end. Let's have a look at team score. Well, the highest damage in that game goes to, yep, a fingernail clipping. He managed to get 2,334, but it wasn't 20% of the enemy hit pool, and that's why he didn't get the high caliber. The second highest damage in the game goes to the Panther, who actually managed to get a Pascucci's and a Top Gun, killing both enemy RT. And he got 2,104 in second place. And in third place, it was the Fifi on Fingernail Clippings team because he managed 1,684 hit points of damage. When it came to kills, we can see the top scorer was the Yag Panther. He managed seven kills in that game, but he did get wiped out in the end. Five kills went to Fingernail Clipping and two kills went to the Fifi on, the enemy, uh, on his own team, rather. The KV-2R and the T-150 and the Type 64 and the AMX-13 F3 AM on, his, on the enemy team. And when it came to base XP, we can see that the high scorer was the Panther with 997, 775 went to the T-150 and 765 went to the Type 64. And just below them, we've got, yes, yeah, some fingernail clipping with 702. So he wasn't far away from the leaders in that game. Now he fired 37 rounds in the game. A lot of those were shotguns at the same, <laughs> the same RT. Unfortunately, just couldn't nail him down. The shell wouldn't go into the target, even though he aimed perfectly. Um, some of them, the shells just wouldn't go near the target. 19 direct hits, one penetrating shot, 25 splash damage of 2,334, of which 1,484 were at more than 300 meters. Well, which one was the penetrating shot? I would have thought the home knee, actually. But no, surprisingly, it wasn't him. Did he penetrate the MX? No. Was it the Type 64? Yes. The close range shots as the guy came out the factory, went right through the vehicle and wiped him out. Yes, it is a light tank. It's a premium light tank, but it does have very thin armor because it's based on the Duster, the M42 Duster, which is a very lightly skinned, lightly armored vehicle, similar in many ways to a Hellcat. And of course, the shell went straight through him to wipe him out. So going back to the detail, 
He also got uh, 25 splashes, and we did the uh, damage. Two hits received from the enemy. Both hits were splash. Both came from the Air Mix 13 at 3 a.m. He spotted one enemy vehicle, damaged eight of the enemy, killed five, did 739 hit points of damage assistance. On a free-to-play account, he actually made a profit of 15,873 credits, uh, 875 credits from that game. And he also picked up 712 XP, but sadly he wasn't able to pick up the last two wins that he needed in order to win the game. But it was a very valiant try, and I've never seen so many shotguns, uh, one after the other, try to win a game. So bad luck there to fingernail clipping. He said close, but no cigar. Well, we always have a saying in, on What Art You Noobs, close, but no Monica. Yes, I think you know the uh, the meaning of that one. Um, but unfortunately, on this occasion, it didn't turn out to be the cigar. So yes, unfortunately, it wasn't a win. But keep trying because those sort of battles are absolutely fantastic to watch. Hope you enjoyed that replay. If you did, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.